What's up? It's Katie. And Major. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our channel. channel. If you're new here, please make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video again. And if you're not, thanks for being part of our family. Okay, so today's video I'm very, very excited for. It's pretty much a video of our eight dogs. But really quick, let me justify why we can have eight dogs and it's not an issue. First off, last time I made this video, rewind the clip. This is Jazzy, this is Oxford, this is Taquito, this is Cider. So I had four dogs and I was single, right? Now, there's two of us, and we have eight dogs. That's simple math. I'm a dog trainer. I have a full-time team of employees that help me walk and work and train all these high-energy dogs all throughout the week. So, they're getting hours and hours of daily exercise. This amount of dogs is probably not realistic if you're going to work eight hours a day. It 100% is not. So, that's me justifying it. And Dad, if you're watching this, yes, I know it's excessive. If we want to break it down, we have two Dobermans, two Australian Shepherds, a Chihuahua, Minpin, Dachshund, Bernie's Mountain Dog mix, a Corgi, a Coyote Chow mix, and a Pitbull Akita mix. Did I miss yeah. anyone? You just said wait. Yeah. So this is Jazzy. She's a 10 year old Doberman. She's a little freaked out because the camera's the lights, the action. It's a lot for her. Good. But she's a really good girl. Do you want to explain how we got Jazzy? You don't know? No. Okay. We've had Jazzy for 10 years. I got Jazzy when I was 12. Jazzy was technically our family dog, but my dad's dog. I got an Australian Shepherd, my dad got a Doberman. She was raised on the show circuit, and she has amazing, phenomenal breeding. She has the same breeding as my younger Doberman, Indy. The thing with Jazzy is she liked to eat other dogs. She was extremely insecure, and because of that, she would fight other dogs off when she would feel insecure. And then over the years she learned that biting dogs is really effective for getting them away from you. And so I did a lot of rehabilitation with her, a lot of confidence building, a lot of corrections. And yeah, she's just the sweetest girl. She sleeps in our bed every night. She used to pee the bed, but after a lot of different medication trials, we realized that it was more hormonal, got her blood tested, did all that fun stuff. And she's back to sleeping with us on the bed for the last couple years of her life. Yeah, she serves as a great uh, footrest when we're asleep. She does. Her bad quality is guarding, her good quality is guarding. So when she's outside, she's guarding the house, so she's not around. But then when she's when we're inside the house, she's guarding you, so that's good. True. This is Taquito. Taquito is a 12-year-old Chihuahua Miniature Pencher Bernie's Mountain Dog mix. I love DNA tests because I get to call him a Bernie's Mountain Dog, and I never ever would have done that before. So Taquito, we actually found, he was my first video that got a lot of views on YouTube, and he was thrown out of a truck in front of me, which was so, so sad, it was on Hunt Highway, and we scooped him up, I called my dad and said, hey, I found this dog, he's really sweet, he was thrown out of a truck, and my dad was like, do not bring this dog home, so I brought the dog home, because what else are you going to do? And then, because that YouTube video got a lot of views, my dad was like, okay, I guess you can keep him. So shout out to everyone who watched and commented on that video. You are the reason Taquito is with us. I would have kept him anyway. Don't tell my dad. Um, I promise he likes his life. He's the biggest snuggle buddy. And I love him to death. He loves to snuggle. But he's kind of a jerk at the same time. So Major, best and worst quality. Same thing. The worst quality is that he likes to snuggle, so he's just always around. He's always on you. Like, you go to sit down by him, he's right there. Yeah, sometimes, because sometimes you're trying to... Well, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. As far as, like, me and your dad goes, like, he's just I always he's just always popping up. He's there. It's like, you sit down, bow, he's there. You lay down, bow, he's there. You sit on the couch, bow, he's there. But it's a good quality because, like, if you're feeling alone or something like that, Tito's always there. You know what I mean? I love that about him. I yeah, think it's great quality. Sometimes it's a little too much. It's like that clingy friend that you don't kind of want to run all the time, but I mean, but no more scandalous. Okay, here's our third dog out of eight. This is Cider. My Cider. favorite. Hi. Cider is a eight and a half year old Chow Coyote Shelby mix. Tito's choking on here. Cider is a sweet, sweet dog. He's the biggest scaredy cat ever. He kind of acts like a cat. He loves his walks in the morning. He's so cute when he's excited, but he's scared of everyone. It takes a good six to nine months to warm up to people. 
he's cool with Major 90% of the time now, but that other 10% of the time, Major will be like, what's up, dude? And he'll just run. I, I think it's because I'm moving fast or something. What's his best quality and his worst quality? Um, his best quality is that he's just so, like, calm. Like, you never have a problem with him. He's, he's just chilling. He's yeah. never, like, too much. He's not, like, too rowdy or anything like that. Mm -hmm. He just likes to be here. Uh -huh. uh, you know? Yeah. Um, worst quality? Uh, he might not be as, like, eager to play fetch or something like, like that because he likes to stay clean. I've never seen him dirty, not once. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't necessarily run around too, too much because he's, he's not confrontational. And, uh, yeah, like I said, he doesn't like to get dirty. So. Okay, so this is Indy Lou. She's my second favorite dog that I've ever owned. One of them is dead. But Indy is on my arm. So is Oxer. So this is definitely the best, most meaningful piece on my arm to me. Mm -hmm. I got Indy when I was going through a really horrific time. I went through a really bad breakup right before I met the love of my life. So now no other boys matter. That said, I was feeling down. I reached out to Jazzy's Reader and was like, hey, I'm looking for a Doberman in the next year or two when I buy a house. They had somebody fall through. They called me the next day and said, if you want her, she's yours. You can fly in three weeks and get her. And I said, no, called them back two hours later and said, I'm hopping on a plane in three weeks. I booked my ticket and they said, okay, she's yours. I dropped all my money on Miss Indy and she has become the best demo dog. She helps me in all my sessions. She's so brave, listens so well, and she gets along well with everyone while still being capable of putting them in their place. She still, even though she's like so obedient, she still has like the goofiest personality. And I've never seen a dog that has the best of both worlds to the extent of Miss Indy Lou. Major progression. Best and worst quality of Miss Indy Lou. I'll say the best quality about Indy though is um, how well trained she is though. Like she's great with commands, so like you tell her to do something, she's like on it. Like, you say sit, she's already sat down before you even get done saying it. But uh, yeah. She's a badass. Mm -hmm. Good bad quality. Um, <laughs> when she plays, it, we don't experience it a lot because she walks and stuff, but if I like didn't walk her that morning, when she plays, she'll go straight for her necks and put them down. It's like dodgeball in PE. She takes it serious. Okay, this is Coville. Hi, cool. He is the first dog that Major and I got as a family. Um, even though Major has done an amazing job at accepting all the dogs I got before he was in the picture, he is very accepting. This is our first dog that we decided on together. A 10 month old. Australian Shepherd puppy, and he's a very great boy. Do you want to explain how we got him? Uh, yeah, so um, actually before we Jasmine. were supposed to get him, we were supposed to get a, a red tribe. Yeah. She always looks at the online websites and stuff for all different types of dogs. It's, it's like a hobby for her. So, and chickens. Um, yeah, and chickens. And so she spotted him from the same breeder and was like, oh, look at this one, oh my gosh, and I'm like, we're already looking at a red tri and she's like, but this one's cute. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And she's like, can we get him? And I'm like, I get, yeah, okay, yeah. So then, uh, yeah, literally that, I think that night. That night, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, I guess she hit up the breeder and we went over to check him out. And uh, yeah, he was looking good. So uh, we swooped him up. Kobu and Gumbo are our two Australian Shepherds. And I always joke that I needed Gumbo and Kobu needed me. So it worked out really well because as much as I love Kobu, he he's amazing at obedience because of his anxiety, but he definitely is a more anxious dog. He's a lot to handle, and I don't know how he would have done in another household. He literally is walking miles and miles on end a day. He takes a lot, a lot of work, but I love him to death, and I am so happy he has a family here. What is his best and worst quality? Um, I would say his best quality is that he cares a lot. I feel like out of all the out of all the dogs, he cares. Um, like he, he walk in the door, he's the first one out. He's running to the door. Um, he's very emotional too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, um, and then I think his worst quality is hmm that he cares a lot. He's the same with the other two dogs. Like. Mm -hmm. So that could be his best and his worst quality. He cares, yeah, he, he, he cares so much 
And uh, you just feel bad because not, now when you're leaving to go to the gym or something like that, you can tell he's sad and everything, so you feel bad for leaving. My real life teddy bear dog. He is literally the sweetest Australian Shepherd I've ever met. <laughs> Indy came at a very, very special time in my life. Whereas Gumbo, I know he's in the dogs of all the dogs I've owned. I'm always going to remember him as something extremely, extremely special because I know we'll never get an Australian Shepherd as amazing as him. There's no dog like him. Yeah. He's different for sure. He is. He's just so sweet. Like. I feel like with the dogs, we're always like, how do we please them? How do we make them happy? And with Gumbo, it's like his purpose in this world is to make everybody happy and feel loved. Like if anyone's sad, he goes up to them. We're currently training him as a therapy dog. He went to a school last week and did therapy work. And a service dog, my sister has him in the service dog program. And he's doing really extremely well. He's great with his commands, but he's the goofiest boy ever. He goes to the gym with me the most out of all the dogs. And he does phenomenal there. Um, I would say he's uh, the clumsiest dog I've ever seen, too. Um, and the most loose. Like, if you just pick him up, he doesn't care how you pick him up. You can, like, throw him around, all this, and he's chilling. Put him over the shoulder, you know. <laughs> he loves it. But, yeah, good qualities. What is his best quality? Worse than the best. Okay, oh, dang. Uh, worst quality is um, he just likes to be on you, on them, on everyone. So like, um, yeah, be prepared because he's gonna try to, you know, just show some love all the time. He likes to be all up on you. So I mean, it's not necessarily too bad, but some people just don't like, you know. And um, I say a good quality, good qualities is that uh, yeah, he's just goofy. He likes to play a lot. Like if you have kids, older people, younger people, anybody. Um, yeah, he's cool with you, you know, he just likes to have fun and uh, just be a kid. Mimosa! Woo! Mimosa! Oh, yeah, we got something to talk about you. This is Mosa. Mosa is a six-month-old corgi. She's a Pembroke Welsh corgi, and she's very fancy with quite the booty on her. Oh, she got a little thumper. Major and I were talking one day. I had like woken up on a Sunday and I was like, you know what? Dogs are really cool and they're herding dogs and I have a soft spot for herding and working dogs. And Major was like, what dogs? And I was like, cookies. Gee! This is Dash. He is our number eight, our dog that we said we would never keep. He was part of the foster program that we started with Katie's Canines, which is my dog training business. We were looking at dogs in the pound for the foster program, and there's just a feeling you get when you fall in love. It's the feeling I had when I saw Oxford for the first time, the feeling I had when I saw Major for the first time, when I saw Kobu for the first time, and Cider for the first time in the pound. That was the feeling I got when I saw him. He hadn't eaten his food, he was curled up, he had just gotten his leg amputated, and everyone was passing him, and they were like, oh, poor dude, who's gonna want a dog with three legs? She didn't even see his face. I didn't see his face, and I knew that was my dog. He was 28 pounds at the time, so I thought he was gonna be smaller, and I was like, we're gonna take him with the foster program, I'll be able to find him a home. And the second we brought him home, I tested him with the chickens, I tested him with the goats, I tested him with every dog, I thought, he might be dog aggressive. He literally has had zero issues besides the first couple days growling when he was in the corner of his kennel when he had food. But I believe that's because he was 28 pounds when we got him and he has now become 48 pounds. So he was obviously very underfed and he wasn't eating because he was so stressed. But he is the sweetest freaking dog. He was eating when we first got him. Like You put the bowl down and he's eating good. Yeah, I think yeah. we put every topper, everything mm -hmm. you can put in dogs, dog food in their food. So I think he went from having kibble to having the food we give them, and yeah. he was like, Luxury. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna eat this. Yeah. Best and worst quality. Uh, I'll say, <clears throat> it's not necessarily a worst quality, because I understand Aww, why. Yeah, I understand why he's scared. 
but he's just always scared all the time, so you still got to break him in, even though it's been months now. The, the best quality about him is, uh, I just say, uh, he's, he's chill. He's not too much. He's minding, like, he's minding his business. He's always, he likes to sit under the table. Thank you so much for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed our pack just as much as we do. We're going to start posting once a week about the dogs and once a week about other animals in our little household. Because we got a lot. But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you write us in the comments and tell us which dog is your favorite. Yes. And I'm interested because I have my favorites. Major has his favorites. Mm -hmm. So we'll see who wins. I'm more chill and laid back, so I like cider. Um, I don't want to sway you guys one way or whatever, but yeah, cider's cool. Okay, well, we won't ramble anymore. Uh, Thank you so much. We appreciate you, love you, and we will see you next video. Comment down below also what you'd like to see for the next video. Deuces dash safe. Juices. <laughs> <laughs>